what got me into like fixing up old, out, old outboard motors is I had a, a boat, a previous boat, and I got this motor on it, and it sat on that boat for years and years and years and faded out, and then I decided, well, I'm gonna try to figure out how to pretty this motor up. And this is the first one that I took it all the way apart, cleaned it all up, uh, sanded it and did all that kind of stuff, primed it, I had to figure out what kind of primers to use because it's aluminum, and then painted it. And then I found out places on the internet where you can get your decals and stuff, and I enjoyed it immensely. So then I started looking for other motors to do. Originally it was to like to, to clean them up and then repaint them and re-decal them and then uh, got into other things and actually started taking them apart and fixing them and putting them back together and making them run. My dad was a fisheries biologist with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. He did a lot of work on Lake Cumberland in the 60s. Some of my earliest recollections of boats, motors and the like was every now and again he would take the family down and we would camp on one of the islands out there in Lake Cumberland, but we would also participate in cove studies that Fish and Wildlife would be doing down there. So that means there would be lots of boats and lots of older motors, and that's what I originally remember. To date, the most challenging project is this motor here. It's a 25 horse Evinrude. It's a 1954 model. When I got it, it was in very, very rough shape. It had mice that had been living inside the cowling and mice that had been living in the lower unit. The engine was locked up. And when I first got it, I thought, oh my, what have I gotten into? And, but I just started, I, of course I got a book that tells you how to work on things. And I mean, I actually tore this motor all the way down to its uh, components, worked with uh, those components, put rings and stuff on it, put it back together and uh, worked with the carburetor a little bit and actually got it running. Now this engine was locked up too. It's an N-series, Evinrude, it's a two and a half horse. That series was made between 1923 and 1928 and I figure that one's probably about a 26, 1926 model. So it's older than the hills, but it runs. This is a, uh, a 1955, five and a half horse and I got a hold of this and, it was, and it was in pretty good, you know, pretty good shape already. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this cowling and take, take this down and smooth it down. And uh, this has already been worked up and pressure cleaned and it's ready to paint. And I'll uh, prime these things and then I'll paint, paint them. And what I learned through, you know, getting out on the net and seeing what other people do is I, when I originally started, I would actually take these motors, I mean, all the way down to little parts and pieces, but I found out that a lot of the guys that do it professionally, they'll leave them in one piece and they'll hang this motor up, up high, and then they'll paint it in one piece. There's places where I'll be able to get these decals, and I've already taken pictures of this cowling, so I'll know where to put the decals when I get ready to do that again, because uh, I've I had a couple motors where I didn't take pictures and then you have to go get on the net and do some research, find out where those decals actually went on those motors. So, but I'll prime it and I'll paint it and I'll decal it and then I'll clear coat it to protect that and then I'll be ready to do whatever I want to do with the motor, whether I use it or try to sell it.